have some more news uh, stories coming in. Prime Minister Narendra Modi was in Mumbai and inaugurated one of the phases of the Mumbai Metro. And the visuals there on the screen coming in. Just remember his visit in the afternoon after Karnataka. He was seen taking a ride in the Mumbai Metro. Then took an elevator to the platform and travelled in the metro train between Gundavali and Mogra stations. Maharashtra Chief Minister Eknath Shinde was also accompanying him. Prime Minister then took a metro ride, interacted with the youth on board. Young girls and boys seen telling Prime Minister how the metro lines will benefit them specifically for the regular travel. It's a 35 kilometer long phase two of the Mumbai Metro, not only to benefit millions of Mumbaikers, specifically with the traffic that Mumbai city has seen for years, but could also just help the traffic itself on New Link Road and between Dahisar East and DN Nagar. So these are the visuals coming in of Prime Minister Modi in the Mumbai Metro. <laughs> All right, let's bring in now India Today's Dave Kotak this morning. Dave, so two questions mixed in one. As a reporter, because you were tracking this visit by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, uh, all the developments that happened do take us through for all how long he was there on board the metro, who did he interact with. And secondly, as a Mumbaikar, how much a difference will a metro line really make for someone living in the city? Uh, well, yes, uh, Pooja, uh, thank you for your questions. Uh, yesterday, as you know, uh, Prime Minister Modi was in Bombay Post, uh, 4.30 p.m. He landed here at the Mumbai airport and he's been on a marathon uh, uh, since then, inaugurating several projects, uh, speaking about Mumbai's infrastructure development. Also in his, uh, in his uh, rally and in his speech at the MMRDA grounds in the Bandra Kurla complex, he said that Mumbai is a model for development which uh, everyone is looking at and really gaining inspiration from. Uh, but not just India, in fact the whole of world, where at a time when there are global economic crises and people are still, uh, the nations are still reeling under it, at that very time itself, uh, Mumbai is promising a double engine growth uh, given the kind of infrastructure projects including the Swanidhi scheme and the sewage treatment plants also that were inaugurated. Like I mentioned that he was on a marathon uh, inaugurating metro lines as well uh, for the longest amount of time uh, in Mumbai. Uh, the lifelines have been the local trains which span across uh, three different uh, sides. Uh, the yes. western, central and the harbour region uh, compared to what they have in Delhi as the coloured lines. Hmm. Uh, similarly, now with the metro lines 2A and 7 that have uh, come Deva, up... Dave, all I can say is I, I hope and uh, wish that this metro line comes to rescue for many and millions of uh, the Mumbaikers who have to, in fact, struggle through other transport, public transport that's also available and could make a difference because it has benefited many clearly in the national capital, Delhi too. Dave Kotak with the latest for that in Mumbai. Thank you very much for now.